Welcome back to part 15 of this series where we create a fully featured, amazing, beautiful, fantastic blog website using Gatsby.js. Uh, so in the last video we created, uh, we paginated our pages, we created, uh, uh, automatically creating paginations, so, I mean, paginated content. So if we go to page two, we're going to see the third uh, post. And if we had more, we're going to have more pages. Uh, but we need to now uh, include pagination link uh, links here that are clickable so we can browse without actually typing the the page number uh, on there the URL let's uh, commit the changes we made so far so get add dot and get commit created paginated paginated pages I don't care it's not like uh, I need someone else to understand this. It's my own project, okay? All right, let's um, let's think about this. How are we gonna do this? We're gonna use this React Strap pagination uh, element with uh, pagination item, pagination link from React Strap, and we're gonna use it like this way. So we need um, uh, elements for each page. So if we have five pages, we're gonna have like this, five of them. And we need to that when we're in the first page, like you see here, this is disabled. We can't click it, but we can click this to go to the next page. And if we're in the last page, that's this is going to be disabled. So there's quite a lot of logic that goes in here. So um, yeah, let's 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 do this. Now, if we think about it logically, uh, this this component is going to be in here or in the other template. So it needs its own component, right? And so let's create that. So in components, we're going to create a file called pagination links dot js. And this will need, if you look here, this will need two bits of information. Uh, the current page that we're in, so that it would make that blue like this active. And you will need the number of pages so that we will create these uh, pages. So let's go to where we're going to put it so in in two pages we're going to put it in post list let's close all pages in post list and in index so let's bring it in so import pagination pagination links uh did i spell that correctly yes i did from go back one level component slash pagination links and it's gonna go at the bottom here before the end, uh, the closing tag of layout. And it's gonna be pagination links. And like we said, it's gonna have uh, two bits of information current page, and we're gonna leave them empty for now, and number of pages. Now, let's see, how do we get these? We Number of pages we already have. We already have, right? No, we don't. We have current page, so let's pass that. But we need to find out the number of pages. How do we find that out in post list? Wait, we have it. No, actually, no, we don't have it in post list, but we have it in Gatsby node. What we can do is um, we can pass it here because we have number of pages here. So let's just copy that and let's pass it here. And we can simply go back here and we can extract it from page context. Let's do number of pages and let's pass it here. There we go. Now let's, let's copy this import, do the same in the index. Let's put it at the bottom of the layout. Like, uh, where does it go in the bottom of the layout? What do we put it here? I think we'll put it at the bottom of this div. Let's put it at the bottom of this div. So let's do pagination links. And it takes current page. Let's leave that empty for now. And number of pages. And this has no context, so we need to do our uh, calculation here. Um, number of pages. Current page because this is the, this is always the first page because this is index so this can be uh, hard coded like this or just given number one because this is uh, the index this is always the first page and the number of pages we can calculate so um, here in our uh, before our edges we can get 
total count of all our posts and we can we can here actually let's turn this into a block of code let's do this this and to return so open parentheses and close parentheses here because we need to declare uh, some variables so const uh, we need our posts per page to be now um, a variable and right now we've set it to two and we need number of pages but we can't calculate number of pages outside here because we need to have this data to have the total counts so we can declare a variable here or uh, initialize declare I think it's declare so number of pages now we have this variable here now we can define and give it a value inside of here so we gonna go inside of this block and I'm gonna do number of pay oops number of pages is equal to the same logic that we did in um, in Gatsby node math dot ceiling and this will be data dot all markdown remark um, I hate this word it's always difficult to type out <laughs> dot total count divided by uh, posts per page and yeah this should be the number of pages and we pass it here and if we save that we are done with these files I believe what's left is obviously create the pagination links themselves so let's do that so let's import react as per usual from react and let's do const pagination links equals a functional component which takes current page and number of pages and returns the following and it's going to return something and can export it export default pagination links and um, here we need a couple of variables we need const is first which is a boolean that determines whether this is the first page or not so current page equal 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 one so if current page equals one that means we're in the first page otherwise we're not so we need another one called is last and that would be current page compared to number of pages because obviously if if we are if current page is equal to number of pages that means we're in the last page uh, we need we need a link to the previous page because we're, we're gonna be uh, our pagination links we will have links obviously and the links to the the link to the previous page is gonna be like this so previous page because we don't want to do this each time we're gonna give it a we're gonna assign it to a variable and then just pass that so this will be current page current page minus one compared to compared to one so if current page minus one that means we're in uh, uh, that means we're in the first place first place first page so we're gonna do a ternary operator that means the previous page should be the home page and otherwise it's gonna be slash page slash plus let's concatenate to it current page minus one and we need to convert this to a string just in case and yeah i think this is it so this is current page minus one so from page page number one previous page if that's size equal to one then we go back to home otherwise yeah okay so let's do const the same thing but for next page the next page will be the uh, next page will never be slash because because we will never go backwards so that would be slash page slash plus current page plus one and we convert this to a string as well
dot to string. And now we can uh, bring in our pagination elements, uh, components. So let's bring them in actually from React Strap first. So import pagination, pagination item, and oops, and pagination link from React Strap. Um, so the first one would be. Uh, if we go back here, the first one will be this thing, this um, arrow back or previous page. So this would be, we need actually to open the whole thing, the whole pagination um, pagination uh, tag and we need to give it this area label. Let's give that, let's close that and inside of here we need the first uh, first previous page uh, element thing so let's check if we're in first page because if we're in first page this should be disabled otherwise it should be like this not disabled we can click it so if we're in this first page we're gonna return this and this is a ternary operator if we're not in the first page we're gonna return this so there's two options so the first option would be pagination item disabled uh, disabled and inside of that we're gonna have pagination link and that would be um, that would have the this uh, directive of previous um, with the href of would it be slash actually yeah if it's Actually, it doesn't matter. In this case, it doesn't matter because it's going to be disabled. We can't click it. So it doesn't matter. We can't click it here. So whatever href we give, it doesn't matter. Okay, so if we're not in the first page, we're going to have the same, but it's not going to be disabled. It's still going to have the directive of previous, but the href would be a previous page. Okay, now let's let's do the last one. So let's do now this, um, and then we're gonna do the ones in the middle, the pages. So let's do that. So in the, in here, a bit similar to the first, we check is last. So if we're in the last page, um, return one block block of code. Otherwise, return not block of code. Like return some um, JSX stuff. So in here, we need the pagination item. That's disabled for in the last page, and it's gonna have a pagination pagination link uh, next, and it's gonna have a href next page as well. This we can't create, uh, we can't click because it's disabled. So let's copy the same thing. Oops, let's copy the same thing here, uh, remove disabled, don't worry, Prettier is going to format that. So in the middle, in the middle here we need to loop through our pages, so array.from and form an array of length, number, oops, number of pages, of pages, and dot, uh, do that for each? No, actually, you could just do this. This is given already. The the, the second the uh, the second um, argument is the iterator. So let's give that uh, this thing and this thing. <laughs> I just call them this thing because why not? I don't need parentheses here. We can we can just do our comparison. If the current page is uh, the index plus one then then return this block otherwise otherwise turn this block and inside of this we're gonna have a pagination item uh, that's active because if we're in that page here that means we're in this page and it's gonna have a key of page number and let's give it a, a the variable i plus one, which is this page that we're in. And of course, this is gonna always be unique. Oops, let's close 
that and inside of our item we're gonna have the link so pagination link oops link like this and it's gonna have href this is gonna be a bit complicated um how do i do this uh, so let's template literal string slash and if okay so let's do an if statement here so dollar sign curly braces if i equals zero and we're gonna give nothing and we're gonna return nothing otherwise we're gonna return page slash because if, if that's if this is the case we're in the first page so this link will be to just slash otherwise it's gonna be to slash page plus i plus one which is the current page and let's close this and this will have a number which is the the, the current page well not the current page i mean the the current iteration that we're in the number of the page that we're printing so we'll do that for one we'll do that for two we'll do that for three and this check is checking if we're in the current page we i mean we are in this page it's going to have this active otherwise this is going to be the same here but without the active so it's going to be so if we're in two two will be blue the rest will be white but they're still going to have the number of the page that we're iterating at i hope that i made that clear so i plus one not in parentheses in curly braces and we're gonna do the same thing here the exact same thing but uh, without the active uh, directive and let's save this and let's run I know this has been a bit confusing but uh, yeah pagination links involve a bit of uh, interesting uh, logic comparison to um, to actually determine whether we're on a page and to uh, concatenate the correct uh, link. Number of pages is not defined. Number of pages is not defined in pagination links because number of pages here. Uh, let's make sure we spell that. Okay, let's go and it compiles. And if we refresh this, and there we go we get our pagination links. So here we're in the home page, this is disabled. And if we click on two, we go to the second page, this becomes disabled and this is not disabled. So if we click here, we go back, click, click here, we go here, click here, click here, we go home, if we click here, we go to page two. So pagination links work, we've implemented them. Hooray, we're almost done with, that, with the application, it looks, really good so far i'm proud of it and i hope you are proud of yourself achieving this much and uh, yeah so in the next video we're gonna we're gonna work on this page the team page we're gonna show our authors here and their links etc so uh, look forward to that i look forward to seeing you and uh, yeah thank you for watching